Last night at 11.30, we told you about Pride's decision to let officers march in this year's parade. CTV's Janice Golding is live in the village with reaction and more on a decision today to continue funding Pride. Janice. Michelle, it's looking more and more likely that Pride Toronto will be receiving its annual city funding this year. Uh, this is after a lot of people have been calling for funding to be withheld, and here's why. Take a look. Toronto police have proudly marched in the Pride Parade for well over a decade, but this year Pride Toronto says it's saying no to uniforms, no to weapons, and no to marked police cars in the parade. We are going to spend a year trying to get to a place where we figure out how the police participate next year. We absolutely hope to see their participation, but it can't happen before an ongoing dialogue with our community. The uniform ban raised flags at the Economic Development Committee today. I'm kind of surprised as we're reading through the report that this does comply with the, the grants policy. Uh, Questions about whether the city should continue to fund the parade. I, I'm not um, uh, supportive of any measures that will penalize an organization that is not breaking any city rules. The ban may not be against city rules, but it's certainly not right, says Councillor John Campbell, who's set to introduce a motion to pull funding. They are part of the fabric of Toronto. They are effectively City of Toronto employees. Why should city funding go toward an organization that's telling our police force that they're not they're not welcome? Last year, Black Lives Matter temporarily halted the Pride Parade until organizers signed off on a list of demands, chief among them, that uniformed officers be banned. And this past January, Pride Toronto reaffirmed that decision, members voting in favor of the ban at their annual general meeting. Um, and we want to see that implementation happen and what, um, how far along they've been on that. Pride Toronto says uniformed officers will still be providing security from the sidelines. It's a petition of uh, almost 9,000 signatures. Uh, but community advocate Bryn Hendricks says he and thousands of others are against the uniform ban in the parade. And if people are triggered by, by police in uniforms, certainly then being on the sidelines, providing that same security would provide that same triggering. And as for the police union? That diminishes the hard work that uh, our police officers and people within the LGBTQ community have been doing for the last two decades to build a solid relationship. Regardless of any opposition, the Economic Development Committee voted unanimously in favor of supporting Pride today. The issue will next go before City Council as a whole on May 24th. Reporting live, I'm Janice Golding. Now back to Ken.